Hey everybody, hope this finds you doing well. This is Danelle here at Network Chain. Today we're going to talk about all of the red that we're seeing across the board. A lot of speculation as to why Bitcoin has gone down. As you can see, over 13.76%, now 78% over the last week. And also, let's get into what we need to do when we take a longer term perspective when it comes to Bitcoin. But first, as usual, let's go ahead and start with the cryptocurrency market update. As you can see, Bitcoin is currently trading at $54,736 at the time of this recording, down almost 14% over the past seven days. Ethereum is below 3,000, now currently trading at around $2,800, down 18.68% over the past week. BNB down 18%, Solana down nearly 13% under that $130 mark. We have XRP trading under 50 cents. It's now 40 cents trading 14.6% below it was where it was a week ago. We have TonCoin in the top 10 down nearly 10%. Actually, it's fared the best so far over the past week actually doing even better than Bitcoin. Dogecoin at number nine, down 20%. And Cardano still hanging on there in the top 10 currently, down 15.68% over the past week. So if we take a little closer look at Bitcoin over the past five days, we had the dramatic drop on July 4th of this past week. And it continued to go down July 5th kind of tried to rally back up a little bit July 6th going into July 7th and now we're seeing that we are going back down again here on July 7th going into July 8th. So what is the reason for all of this selling? We were doing pretty well when it came to staying within range for Bitcoin for several months and we've now broken that pattern. We broke below that $58,000, $57,000 range. So now the next level of support that many of us are looking at, particularly those who are more technical and chart traders, we should be looking to see if Bitcoin can hold somewhere around that 50 to 52 thousand dollar range so that potentially could be incoming but there could be a lot of selling pressure that could cause it to go down even further potentially in the 40 to 45 thousand dollar range but we're getting a little bit of ahead of ourselves right now we see that bitcoin is currently down uh down around just under 55 thousand so we'll see what happens going into this week one of the reasons that people believe that bitcoin is starting to go down and having a lot of sell pressure is because mount gox which we mentioned in one of our previous videos over the last couple of weeks they are an exchange that is now refunding some of their customers their creditors from the hack that they and the bankruptcy, ultimate bankruptcy that happened in 2014, they're just now reimbursing just about 15% of the holdings of the creditors of folks who had their Bitcoin with Mt. Gox. That release was beginning in July. A lot of people are probably looking to sell because they had Bitcoin when it was under $500 so they could obviously have a huge windfall with the amount of bitcoin that they could be receiving but another major catalyst for this sell-off is the fact that the government the german government is looking to sell bitcoin and has been selling potentially hundreds of millions of dollars in bitcoin so we are here at the bitcointreasuries.net website and here you can find uh, pretty update information on public companies as well as governments and funds that are holding Bitcoin and it gives you actually a pretty good idea of how much they're holding what the cost basis is as well as what percentage of the 21 million that will ever be mined of Bitcoin how much do they hold um, we've mentioned MicroStrategy in the past many times they have over 226,000 Bitcoin and they are saying that they will continue to buy Bitcoin and continue to try to take advantage of being able to use convertible notes, being able to borrow money at 
very low interest rates and they are speculating that because Bitcoin over time continues to outperform most assets including the major index funds and other commodities they believe they will continue to come out on top as you see here their cost basis is 8.3 million dollars and their current value is just over 12 million billion dollars excuse me so 8 billion and 12 billion so you can see they are up nearly 1.5x on their investment so they're doing quite well with that particular strategy we're seeing other public companies starting to uh take on a similar strategy one of those is similar scientific they now have over 800 bitcoin and then of course we see some of the miners here like cypher mining as well as hut 8 and riot platforms marathon digital holds a bunch of bitcoin at over 18,500 bitcoin so they're doing quite well and the miners are actually holding up or have been holding up pretty well over the last week when bitcoin began to have its downfall we see the etfs you can see here i bit with which is black rocks offering they now hold more than microstrategy they hold over 300,000 bitcoin currently worth over 16 billion probably a little bit less now obviously because bitcoin continues to dip you have grayscale they used to be the largest holder out of the funds and now they are down to number two black rock has surpassed them we see fidelity arc 21 shares as well as bitwise which rounds out the top five of the etfs and then let's go ahead and go down to the governments that are holding bitcoin the united states out of all of the countries in the world has the most they actually hold one percent of the total bitcoin supply that will ever be mined they have over 213 000 bitcoin that's currently worth nearly 12 billion dollars we have china coming in at second just under 200,000 at 190,000 you have the United Kingdom with 61,000 the Ukraine 46,000 and whom we're about to talk about Germany have over $40,000 now the United States and some of these other countries have been able to recoup Bitcoin due to various nefarious dealings and seizures and so these governments have held on to the bitcoin some of them may hold, continue to hold or sell periodically germany they had transferred thousands of bitcoin over to exchanges many speculating that when they do that they will be selling their bitcoin but one of their uh, constituents in the government is questioning and criticizing the government's bitcoin sell-off strategy as you can see here on decrypt it says she would rather see the government keep bitcoin in the state treasury issuing bitcoin bonds or creating a favorable regulatory environment and she's starting to understand obviously well she's not necessarily starting to understand she understands that fiat currencies are inflationary bitcoin is going to be a finite hard asset once all 21 million is mined that's all that is going to be left so it could be a great reserve asset also if anything just an alternative investable asset that the government could potentially use to build on their uh, reserves um, and potentially use as a resource or commodity that they can hold on to for a period of time as fiat currencies continue to inflate as you can see her name joanna kotar excuse me for any mispronunciation she publicly criticized the government's decision to sell off its substantial bitcoin holdings and she publicly released a letter that she sent to the german government they had already transferred 500 bitcoin worth approximately 30 million dollars um, and this is according to a blockchain intelligence firm arkham and that's one thing that is different from fiat currencies is with the blockchain technology and with bitcoin it is transparent not only is it secure and secured by the network and the multiple nodes that are spread across the entire world but also it is a public ledger so you don't necessarily know who owns each wallet in some cases we are able to track who owns particular wallets but through arkham who does a lot of research on the different wallets and wallet movements have been able to track what the german government holds 
and so you can see that it represents a fraction of the government's 40 plus thousand Bitcoin holdings, which is currently valued, at, valued as we mentioned earlier, over $2 billion. So instead of holding Bitcoin, as she says, as a strategic reserve currency, as is already being debated in the USA, our government is selling on a large scale, she wrote on Twitter. This is in German, obviously, that is the translated English version. And she says wearing a BTC t-shirt when she was addressing the parliament and she was supporting Bitcoin in the letter, she emphasized the potential missed opportunity for German to Germany to position itself at the forefront of financial innovation and economic sovereignty. So there's a possibility depending on her letter and maybe other supporters in the German government and other constituents may consider the things that she's saying and may decide to stop selling as much Bitcoin as maybe they initially had considered. There's a little bit of back and forth right now. We shall see over the next few weeks and over the next couple of months what they decide to do. But it looks like there's a possibility that Germany could be backtracking and rethinking their strategy when it comes to selling off Bitcoin. As we mentioned, Mt. Gox obviously is going to be returning the funds and so there is definitely some potential sell pressure there as well this is actually a pretty good article article excuse me by wired and they talk about some of the people who had lost their funds in 2014 and who are now going to be getting some of their funds back unfortunately it's going to be approximately 15 percent so for many of them obviously already waiting 10 years that may not move the needle needle too much for some for many it could move the needle needle a lot because it's gone over uh, 100x since the time of the hack that happened to Mount Gox 10 years ago. So we see here that 10 years later, Mount Gox customers are about to be reunited with their Bitcoin. There was a lot of back and forth. Um, Mount Gox was a Japanese headquartered company. So there was a lot of red tape related to being able to get these reimbursements back out to customers. But now they are going to be sending those funds out and it's starting in July. And so we shall see how long it's going to take for them to fully reimburse their creditors. And we shall also see what those creditors decide to do with that Bitcoin. So we are back here at Bitcoin. We see that it's down still in that $55,000 range. It actually bounced up just a little bit since we've been recording, but obviously we will keep you posted. Make sure to check us out here on X nearly every day as well as IG. And just check out this post here that we made earlier this week. Bitcoin dropped nearly $10,000 in a week and this is nothing new. It happens. This definitely happens in the cryptocurrency market. If you know anything about cryptocurrency, particularly Bitcoin, these type of drops are commonplace. If you can't stand the volatility, this may not be the asset for you. But if you are willing to zoom out and have a longer term perspective, this definitely is a well performing asset over time. Also, as we said here, many of us look at it as buying at a discount. Others panic and sell for a loss after buying at the highs. What are you going to do? So far in its history, Bitcoin eventually takes out the old high for a new one. Always be mindful. So we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to keep it posted, not only here at YouTube, but on X as well as IG. We thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great start to your week. In the meantime, we look forward to linking up with you soon on the network chain. Bye-bye.